What's good, Sub? Today I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be analyzing some recent in-game footage of Sam Foot 9 abiding on the Gookie and determining if he has what it takes to play at the next level. Before we get straight to the video, what you're about to see right now will shock you and give you shills, so sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and enjoy the video. Of course, as most of you guys probably know by now, Abadi Ariguki blew up on social media a couple of months ago after this clip of him working out went viral. The biggest takeaway from this was his insane basketball frame and that he's 7'9", which of course marks him as the tallest basketball player of all time to play the game. However, that was only a workout clip and many wonder if he could apply that frame and skill set to real life action and well, you're about to find out. The first thing to break down here is Ariguki's offensive game. He's extremely dominant in the paint and it's not a surprise at all. I mean, the dude is 7'9 and looks to have some pretty good weight on him, so he's expected to do so. With his large wingspan, Aliguki can simply just dunk the ball without jumping and even talks trash afterwards, which is absolutely insane. As a result of this, since that type of frame is rare in today's world, teams certainly look to foul Aliguki a lot to see if he can at least make a decent amount of his free throws. And man, you're about to be shocked right now. This man can actually shoot free throws at a good rate and shoots a better percentage than Ben Simmons. Yes, Ben Simmons is this down bad. All those right-handed push shots, <laughs> but he is left-handed. <laughs> Anyways, Arigoki's shooting form looks pretty nice if you look at it closely. He shoots in one motion, holds a good follow through and has good rotation on the ball. Not only that, but Arigoki's playmaking is really good as well for a big man. Since he has a lot of strength and power, he can make these full court passes at an elite level almost every single time. Arigoki is just a freak of nature to be honest and can pretty much do close to everything on the court. The only way to stop this man honestly is to keep him out of the paint because he cannot shoot any 3 pointers and barely makes any mid range shots. He doesn't practice slow shots at all in practice so that's the best way to keep him in check. The second thing to break down here is Adekuki's defense. He's a really good rim protector which is yet again not a surprise at all. His wingspan is just absolutely insane and therefore he doesn't have to jump at all to block shots. If you see him in the paint, it's just better for you to just shoot jumpers because even if Adeguki falls for one fake in the paint, he can still block the shot because of how big he is. The dude is 7 for 9 for a reason. However, Adeguki does have one weakness in this side of the court and that's his perimeter defense. When you keep him out of the paint, he doesn't make a good impact at all on the court because he's really slow and cannot keep up with quick guards at all. He can get easily beaten off the dribble and that could be an issue if teams decide to do a lot of pick and rolls or pick and pops for shooters. Adeguki's endurance on the court is just overall a big issue as he gets tired really quickly in high paced games. If he wants to earn himself some pretty good minutes professionally, then his endurance has to 100% improve. This first starts with constant stretching as that provokes injuries and then having a good diet off the court as well. This is really crucial for Adeguki's basketball career going forward so I really hope that he applies this to his real life routines. Needless to say, Adeguki still has the potential to be a decent big man in any professional league. With his large wingspan and huge frame, he can out rebound anyone, dunk over you and even block shots without jumping. His footwork is also decent and even if he still needs improvement, the potential is there. We'll have to wait and see what happens with Arikuki's basketball career and I wish him nothing but the best. And that concludes the video. What do you guys think of abiding Arikuki? Do you think Arikuki will make the NBA one day or do you think that his health will haunt him? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more basketball content and turn on post notifications to get notified of my official videos. I'll pronounce a great day. Peace out.